Good morning. My name is Cecilia Carlton, and I will be your community leader for this Mass. <clears throat> we welcome everyone to this celebration, and thank you for joining us this morning. Our guidelines require that your mask cover your nose and your mouth throughout the entire Mass. There will be no contact during the sign of peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. Thank you. Please stand as we greet our celebrant, Father Jerry Hurley. Please join together in worship as we sing Joyful, Joyful. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Our reading 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and kindness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. The, res the responsorial psalm, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in its holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires, desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the Lord to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of, the, of God, the God of jo Jacob. Lord, this is the people who longs to see your face. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret this present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable and the constable will throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Continue our reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. He is in prison now and writing to the people of Ephesus from there and saying, I urge you, to live in a manner worthy of the calling that you have received in all humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another in love. And the purpose is because we are all one. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one hope, uh, one spirit that is given to all. The oneness. And we are all called to be one, not to be separate groups or separate individuals, but all one in him, through baptism in him and through the 
power of his spirit given to each one of us. So Paul is encouraging them, remember that unity, that oneness that brings us together, which is the purpose of the Eucharist, the oneness coming together in Christ to receive him and to receive through him, to receive his grace and blessing as we come to be Eucharisted in him gospel jesus saying you're great at reading the signs of uh, nature and creation why would you not read the signs of the times the ultimate sign of the times is the presence of christ in our midst and when you become aware of that why would you not interpret it and move toward being conciliatory and recon reconciling with one another uh, why all of this finding fault and going before the judge and everything else, this litigious nature? Um, why don't you work in reconciling? Because he is the one who brings all together. As St. Paul said in the first reading, uh, the unity that we have in the Spirit, the unity that brings us together in Christ and Jesus saying that's what we need to be working on. That is the ultimate sign. Jesus came to unify uh, it, his prayer to the Father that he lose nothing of what has been given him. And we are cooperators with him in that ministry and in that process that all would become one and that he would lose nothing of what the Father has to him that all would ultimately come to him in the fullness of life let us turn to him and pour pour out our prayers and our petitions to him please respond lord hear our prayer for the church that we may continue to recognize god's work in the world today and point to god as the ultimate source of all that we have we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, that they may be ever cognizant of the privilege that they hold in their positions of power, and that they exercise that privilege for the benefit of all that they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those subjected to hatred or violence because of their identity, race, or beliefs, that they may receive help and hope in the darkness we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may grow in appreciation for all that we have as we repay to God what belongs to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and the world, that they may, <clears throat> excuse me, that they may in good conscience abide by the safety precautions to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our departed, faith, uh, departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Richard Jaramillo, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in our parish community and in need of your healing and saving power, for Dodd, who is having surgery, Don Audrey, who is having surgery this morning, for Rachel Matthias, who's having surgery today. We ask you, Lord, to be with all who are suffering and in need of your healing and saving power, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these, our prayers and our petitions, we bring to you. We ask that you accept them and grant them in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God 
who is our Almighty Father. How good, but all is holy, church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us now to the glory of being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so we join the angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, 
with the apostles and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. And let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended and we go now in peace to love and to serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. You all have a wonderful day. Glad you were able to join us. Thank you for coming. We continue to pray with and for each other. If you wish to receive a boxed set of giving envelopes for the year 2021, please send us an email to office at spaulcc.org. Include your name, your mailing address, and if you know it, your envelope number. Even if you have previously received envelopes, you must send us an email with this information to reorder. There is no automatic renewal. Registration is now open on the St. Paul website for RCIA. If you know anyone interested in learning more about our faith or the Catholic Church, please encourage them to register online. We are also into the fourth week of religious education for our youth. If you still need to register, please email Renee Bourne 
or call the church office. There are still family bags for the online domestic church located outside the office. If you haven't picked up your bag, please do so. Please note also that our Monday morning mass time has changed. We will celebrate mass every Monday at 10 a.m. and adoration will immediately follow this mass. We will now say our parish commitment prayer. Please wait to be dismissed from your pew. Monica will dismiss you. And as you exit the building, please try to maintain social distancing. Thank you. Adoration will follow immediately. If you are staying, please kneel or be seated. If you are leaving, please stand and you will be ushered out. Thank you. Please join together in worship as we sing Companions on the Journey. <laughs> Breaking bread and sharing life, and in the love. 